Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Two videos, one day. We need to talk about Bundesliga Player of the Month. That SBC should be coming very soon in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's going to be a big name this month. A guy that's been making waves in the Bundesliga so far could be getting Player of the Month Bundesliga for the month of January. Of course, this Timo Werner SBC, a lot of people are talking about that. It expires in two days. That's why I'm bringing this video for you guys today because this SBC, Player of the Month Bundesliga, is basically going to be the start of a big time on foot where there's going to be a lot of SBCs, a lot of coin suck possibility with this SBC, a possible Neymar Player of the Month coming in the next week, and then also a mid-icon SBC could be coming as well. So I want to talk about this stuff today. We're going to be talking about this SBC Bundesliga player of the month, how to invest for it. And also if there are any market movements that would be happening because of it. So the voting is now closed and uh, the Werner SBC only has two days left on it. So I would expect this SBC very, very soon. And I want to kind of look at some of these guys. I've looked at their statistics. I've done some of the research. And of course we know the Bundesliga player of the month is 40% fan votes. So there's a lot of opportunity in here for uh, fan vote to take effect where it often, you know, like in the Premier League, the POTM Prem stuff, it doesn't affect it as much just because the fact that uh, this is more of a popularity contest than the Premier League vote is. But speaking of popularity uh, and statistics involved, there are three main candidates for this month's player of the month and one standout candidate, Sancho, Lewandowski, and Holland, I think are the front runners. For this month's player of the month we're going to talk about these cards really quick um and we're going to go in here basically and just talk about the market movements uh because of those cards so let's talk let's start with the two cards that are least likely to win lewandowski i think lewandowski would be in like the third place vote he um he does did he have a player of the month earlier this year i don't remember if he had a, a player of the month yet or not but he's having a fantastic year he's got the headliners card this almost was upgraded to a 94 with Bayern winning their fourth game in a row, but they did not win it. They they lost or they drew one of the two. Uh, so this card is down in price. But if Lewa does somehow win player of the month, it would be a 93 rated card and it would not upgrade this 93 here. Okay, so that this card would not be upgraded by player of the month as far as I'm concerned because it's not a performance based upgrade. It's an award card. So Lewa uh, player of the month would be 93 rated, probably have just about the same stats as this one probably cost around a million coins to do the SBC. Uh, but I don't think we have to worry about that one. And I also don't think we have to worry about uh, Jaden Sancho winning player of the month because I think that Holland has this one in the bag. I really think that he does. But if, if Sancho does somehow win player of the month, he would be my second option uh, who I think is most possible to win. This card would be an 88 rated player of the month card. And it would either be center attacking mid or a right mid card. And it would be a pretty good looking card, to be honest. But I think, again, the one that we really have to talk about today is this Holland card. Because I think he is winning player of the month this month in the Premier League for this last month. Because he came onto the scene after being transferred to Dortmund. All of us know what this card has done and what he's done in real life. First game for Dortmund comes in, scores a hat trick unbelievable right and he's gotten a couple special cards already since then he got an inform for that hat trick like right away when he transferred he's 300,000 coins at the moment and he also has the big time future stars card which is right now i think like 200 not 200 2.7 2.8 mil on the market 2.5 mil actually on the market at the moment for future stars how this card he was people were paying 3.3 mil for this card earlier uh, in this promo for future stars. So uh, this is a little bit of a price drop on that card, but he's got the hype right now. People are saying this card is nuts. People are saying his inform is nuts. Uh, and I want to talk about what this SBC could look like if he does win player of the month. And some also interesting dynamics is with his winter upgrade, right? This card is technically due a winter upgrade. He's going from a 73 to an 79 overall rating is what it shows here on sofifa.com which is this is accurate based on the ratings that they use for winter upgrades so if halan goes to a 79 rated he has a 79 rated inform which this would get upgraded and i'm not entirely sure how the informs work um, but i think that means it would get basically another uh, a boost right so the 79 his base card would become a 79 this inform would become an 82 
This 82 would then become an 84. This 84 would become an 86. This 86 would become an 87. And then his player of the month, which should be one rating higher than this 86 and start out as an 87 rated card, would technically go to an 88. So there is a little bit of a winter upgrade potential with this card right here. Now, what would this SPC do to the market? I think everybody, especially if you're rocking a Bundesliga team, with the linkability of Haaland, since he is on Dortmund, tons of people would want to do this SBC. This inform right now is 300,000 coins, where he has been holding after he went out of packs. And a lot of people like to use this card. Supposedly, especially this future star version, is very, very good in this game. And you can expect, I mean, if you give a player of the month upgrade to Holland, he's going to have 91 or 92 pace. He might have 90 shot. He might have 80 passing. So he could break through some barriers um, and break into new stat categories with the 90 shooting, 80 passing, and 90 physical. So this card could look really, really nuts for a player of the month. Now, the next question is how much would it cost? An SBC like this, um, of course, with the player of the month SBCs this year, they've been really bland, right? There's really not much of a way to invest in a lot of these, but a lot of people are still doing them. How much would a player of the month Holland cost? I think that EA would overprice this SBC a little bit because they know people are paying 2.4 mil for the 92 rated card. And I think that EA might try to squeeze 500K out of this SBC if they make him an 87 rated striker card uh, with a couple plus two upgrades and stats. So I would expect this SBC to be somewhere around the 500K range. And that's nowhere near something that is unattainable for a lot of people on this game. Think about Ben Yedder player of the month. I wanna use his card as an example right now to compare as what this card could look like or what this SBC could look like. Ben Yedder's player of the month is somewhere around 500 to 600K. And what it requires is an 84, uh, 285, an 86, and an 87 rated squad. I would say that maybe they drop one of the 84s off of this, and this is what your SBC could look like for Holland. Probably an 84, probably four different squads, like an 85, 86, 86, and 87, or maybe two 85s and then an 87, something like that. What would you need to get this SBC done? You would probably need um, some high rated players from the Bundesliga. Now, uh, you might ask, are those good investments right now with this SBC on the horizon? I'm gonna personally say no. There's a lot of people that have already invested, not for this SBC, but they've already invested in high rated players. 86s are like 16 to 17,000 coins right now. That's a bit inflated for my liking. If we take a look at 86s and 87s, all 86s are 16,000 coins or above. I usually like those at 15K. 84s, you know, if you had to buy something, 84s aren't the worst. If you could find this Brandt card, maybe you find some of the guys from Dortmund, like Brandt or like Berkey. But if you see this Brandt card, maybe on bid under 4,000 coins, he could spike up to maybe 5K plus because of a Dortmund requirement. Berkey for sure would be somebody who could spike up in, in, in the case of this SBC coming out. So if you can snag him around like 9.5K on bid, I know it might be tough. But if this SBC comes out on Friday, then maybe you have a chance to pick up some of these cards during rewards on Thursday. Uh, but this is an SBC, honestly, I'm making this video on this SBC because there's a lot of people that I think are going to want to do this SBC and I think it's going to make some market movements happen on this game. So many people are paying the big bucks for this card, right? And if you give him a player of the month boost, he's going to start looking more and more closer to this 92 rated card, especially if the 87 player of the month, which he could get, could get upgraded to an 88. So that's kind of what I'm thinking along with this. SBC. Of course, you could look into some informs, Bundesliga informs that, that are out there, um, 84 rated if you can, like around 12, 13,000 coins. You know, maybe if we go back to the screen on Footbin and sort by some of the cheapest informs by rating, we could get a good grasp on that really quick just to see if there's any cheap ones at a quick glance from the Bundesliga. Uh, because again, a lot of times these SBCs, and we'll go take a look at this in a moment, all they require is like cards from the Bundesliga. Um, one Bundesliga and like maybe one player from Bayern and then, you know, maybe one player from his nationality, but a Norwegian probably wouldn't make sense for this SBC. Guerrero 84 rated form at 17K. That's a bit overpriced in my opinion. Uh, there aren't really any other cheap Bundesliga cards besides that, but maybe 84, maybe you could snag one of the cheapest 84s, 85s, and 86 rated informs in general, just to stock your club with, because I do I do think there would be some inform requirements for this SBC. Now, think about it this way also. 
what kind of cards could go up as a link investment to Holland? Because I think there's going to be enough people that want to go do this SBC that would want to link a card to it and link him in game. Would there be any cards that could be a link investment possibly that you would want to watch out for? I think this Royce would be the first person that I would think about to link to a brand new player of the month Holland card. This Inform Royce right here and the Team of the Year nominee are both very rare cards. This Inform is about 317k at the moment. He was 355 this weekend, according to um, Footbin, as I look over there and see the price right now. So this card being 316k, it's been sold off a decent amount in this week. It looks like he's not quite there right now. Uh, but this also, this Team of the Year nominee doesn't look like too bad of a shout, around 280 in my opinion. But yeah, you can look for some of the link investments to this Holland could be a good time or a good moneymaker this weekend. 355 last weekend down to 313. Uh, you know, Sancho even maybe Sancho's um, Sancho's live item. Jaden Sancho's live item. This one right here might be a decent investment. I think this is a solid investment already at 165,000 coins. Somebody might want to link this card to their new player of the month, Sancho. Um, and you might see one other thing you could see because of this SBC coming out is a little bit of panic selling on a guy like Lewandowski. Um, you know, maybe even some of the Werner special cards, you could see a little bit of a panic sell on some of those other Bundesliga top tier strikers, especially like the headliner Lewandowski, which I think is over a mil, if I'm correct on that at the moment. I'm going to search that up right now and see if it's actually over a mil. It is right under a mil. So this card is 990, 980,000 coins. This would be somebody I think some people would sell in order to go get a player of the month Howland card. So just watch the price on this. That could be a possible card that gets panic sold a little bit. And of course, since it's a live item, that would remain in a, that would probably be a good card that if you want it for your team, maybe you want to link Holland and Lewandowski together. This could be a card that you do pick up. But again, I want to focus on this SBC because I think it's going to be a big one, boys. I really think this SBC is going to be a big one for player of the month Holland. I think he does take the cake and win this SBC because of the popularity and because of his entrance into the Bundesliga and how awesome the Bundesliga has just been to watch this past month and how he has just transformed Dortmund and their squad and given them a whole new confidence, in my opinion. Um, but again, this SBC probably being somewhere around the 500,000 coin range for an 87 rated card with the possible upgrade with the winter refresh to an 88. I think a lot of people would end up doing it. I really, really do because of the hype of this card on the game. And again, I think there's not really much ways where you can invest for this. Hopefully you've already stocked your club with high rated stocked your club with high rated cards, uh, because that is something that they were cheaper like a couple days ago. And that would have been a really, really solid move for a lot of you guys to do. As you can see in here, I've got Tiago, I've got Fernandinho, I've got a lot of the 86s, 87s, 88s already club stocked and purchased, ready to go for all the SBCs coming up in the future. So if you guys were able to do that, then GG's. If you weren't, maybe try to look on Thursday, this weekend league rewards period upcoming in the next day or so. Look for some possible undercuts on the market on those Bundesliga high rateds, especially if I had to go into one player. I would say Berkey would be a decent one. I know he's a goalkeeper, but he is from Dortmund, and that could give him some... Um, that could be a plus in terms of if they do require a Dortmund player, you're looking at some possible profit on this card. Again, try to get him at like 9,000 coins or below if you really can. Looks like he's right around 10K at the moment. So try to get him under 9.5K if you can on bid especially. And then... Uh, maybe some Bundesliga informs and maybe some other Bundesliga higher rateds, right? Like I just talked about Tiago. If you can pick yourself up a Tiago, if they require Bundesliga players, which I would say is almost a guarantee for that SBC, this card, uh, like a Tiago at 22K and under, this isn't terrible, right? That SBC comes out, this card could easily be 25K plus if they require Bundesliga cards. So 22K for a Tiago or for other 87 rated Bundesliga cards. 86 is under 15k if you can maybe for Muller something like that that could be the only possible investments that I see because of this but again I want to point this out because this is a big time SBC coming this week so if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been Nate the Foot Accountant catch you guys later peace out